We said we'd walk together, baby, come what may. That come the twilight, should we lose our way, if as we're walking a hand should slip free, I'll wait for you. And should I fall behind, wait for me. We swore we'd travel, darling, side by side. We'd help each other stay in stride, but each lover's steps fall so differently. But I'll wait for you, and if I should fall behind, wait for me. Now everyone dreams of a love lasting and true, but you and I know what this world can do, so let's make our steps clear that the other may see. And I'll wait for you, if I should fall behind, wait for me. Now there's a beautiful river in the valley ahead. There, neath the oak's bough, soon we will be wed. Should we lose each other in the shadow of the evening trees, I'll wait for you, and should I fall behind, wait for me. Darling, I'll wait for you. Should I fall behind, wait for me. Good afternoon, everyone, dear guests. Welcome to the lovely Chateau de Lartigol to celebrate the bond between two extraordinary people, Livy and Rory. My name is Patrick, and I will have the honor to officiate today's event. The choice of the location already says a lot about the couple. Two British citizens, two longtime Hong Kong residents, choosing to get married in such a romantic location in the south of France. Clearly, only a chateau will do. <laughs> it truly will be a special event that we're able to witness today. Thanks to everyone out here today who have traveled far, very far, and very, very far <laughs> to fill today with warmth, love, and laughter. Livy and Rory met back in 2016 when they stumbled into each other's life during a night out in Lang Kwai Fong, the party mile in Hong Kong. Both surely know how to unwind, have fun, and create entertaining moments for everyone involved. Seeking opportunity for enjoyment and seizing the moments to unwind is an important part of every long-lasting marriage. Livy and Rory both surely carry this dominant gene with them. <laughs> After they decided that they are the one and only for each other, the feeling of togetherness was only to be savored for a short amount of time. Individual career progression, both of them being very ambitious adults, men's stunts in Shanghai, Xiamen, and frequent travel to the Middle East. This did not deter their relationship. Rather, they found strength to look beyond distance, jet lag, and temporary chaos. They found focus through the hustle and bustle and grasped every opportunity to deepen their relationship. A resilient mindset is shared by both. Finally back together in Hong Kong, Livy and Roy wasted no time to find a place to call their home. Soon they realized that Hong Kong Island might have been the vibe back in 2016. However, now they were longing for more room to share, quiet tour evenings together, and a furry addition to the family. <laughs> Their commitments towards each other and the mutual respect that is shared between each other is unwavered. If Lola, the furry addition, would be here today, she would surely agree. <laughs> what is next? Who knows? Yeah, Rory will go back to Hong Kong starting a new chapter in his career, and Livy has an APAC operation to run. Regardless of what the future will hold, their common bond, underlined by humor, resilience, commitment, and most importantly, love for each other, will guide a path to a long and prosperous journey ahead. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is also at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. 
it should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's not looking for perfection in one another. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is also being the right partner. Livy, the last six years have been an amazing ride, but what excites me the most is that we've barely left the station. Through life's ups and downs, I promise that when times are joyous, I'll be there to celebrate with you. When times are tough, I'll be there to lift you up. When you succeed, I'll be there to give you space to keep succeeding. And when you stumble, I'll be there to catch and reassure you. You're my best friend and my love of my life for now and ever. Roy Nicholas Carthill, how do I find the words to describe the infinite embrace you have on my heart? It's impossible. You make me laugh, you make me think, and above all, you make me happy. Committing the rest of my life with you is actually pretty easy, as you make my life complete. Today, surrounded by all of our loved ones, I vow to support you, inspire you, and love you always. I'm proud to be your wife and to join my life with yours, for an eternity of adventures. Today I say I do, but to me that means I will. I will take your hand and stand by your side in the good and the bad. I will dedicate myself to your happiness, success and your smile. And easiest of all, I will love you forever.